I've just finished bending this on the brake. You'll notice the brake messed it up a little bit. That's really no big deal. The brake isn't made for a one inch hem over to this edge of the brake. So just take the tongs, flatten it out. No problem. Now to bend the one inch on the inside and the one inch on the top out, I'm going to use the folding tool. In making a fold, especially on the 24 gauge, it's good to have a backup such as the table, is what I'm doing here. Otherwise, you can try rolling it instead of bending it, and you don't want it to be rolled or else it'll it'll have a looser fit to it. Okay, and now I'll bend a one inch flange out on the upper piece. What this is going to do is this is going to actually set the inside such as this. This is going to be the center of it. We're going to be able to either put a make a castable refractory in here by putting a form in the middle, or if it's the if you have a pre-made one, for example, instead of forming it within here, if you're using a castable refractory, you could make it in a form elsewhere and then you can just set it in here set this down over it, fasten it and you're good to go if you want to use a steel heat exchanger or a refractory lined heat exchanger then there will be some standoffs on the inside of here this can still be filled up with ash or whatever you want for some sort of uh, insulation in between the heat exchanger and here and this will minimize just how much ash you'll have to use. Now if you want, you can go ahead and fill the whole container with ash after this is filled. But this is just given a different options for if, whether you want to do a castable or if you want to start off with a steel then later on move up to a castable. And so this is going to be very versatile whichever way you want to go. Next we need to put some marks on here so we'll be able to line up this fitting so that everything will square up. In order to do that, what we want to do is we want to come five, hook your tape measure into where the metal is going to slide down in. Mark over five and five eighths from each side. After we get our 5 and 5 eighths, then we need to come and mark a 14 and 5 eighths inch. 